Hello, my name is James. Welcome to this tutorial, which is about equilibrium aimed at around A level standard. So the question is uh, 2 mole of N2O4 was heated in a container of volume 12 decimeter cubed and the following equilibrium established. At equilibrium, 35% of the N2O4 had dissociated. Calculate Kc. So let me write an expression for Kc and redefine or rewrite the problem. Kc, the uh, things on the right hand side, NO2 squared divided by the things on the left hand side, N2O4. So we need to know the equilibrium concentrations of those two things to work out Kc. Now, If we look at the data we're given, we're told that initially there's two mole of the N2O4, none of the uh, NO2. And then you're told that 35% of the N24 had dissociated, which means that 65% of it remains. Well, 65% uh, of 2 is 1.3. So we already know that the equilibrium mole of N24 is 1.3. And next thing we need to find is the amount of NO2. Now, to work out the amount of NO2, we need to think by what amounts has each substance changed. So for the N2O4, it went from 2 to 1.3. So therefore, the change was 0.7 mole or subtract 0.7 mole. Now, because this is in a 1 to 2 ratio, the amount by which the NO2 will have changed will have been 1.4. In fact, it will have gone up by 1.4. So there's the equilibrium mole of the NO2. Uh, now we've worked out the equilibrium moles. We can work out the equilibrium concentrations by dividing by 12, because that's the volume. Uh, so here are the concentrations. Uh, here's our expression for Kc. So we can put in the values uh, for NO2 and then for N2O4. And there we come out with our answer. Uh, note that this does have a unit of mole per decimeter cubed because the units here would be mole per decimeter cubed all squared and one of those would cancel out because we've got a mole per decimeter cubed on the bottom. So just to conclude and review what we've done, first of all we worked out the amount of NO2 which had reacted. So we worked out the amount here that remained which was uh, 1.3 so therefore the 0.7 was the amount which reacted. Then uh, we used the ratio to work out the amount of NO2 which formed. So this ratio of 1 to 2, we then could work out the amount of NO2 which formed was double that. Then uh, once we'd worked out the equilibrium moles, we divided by the volume to get the concentrations. Put them into the expression for Kc, and there we got our answer. So here's a similar question for you to have a quick look at. It says work out the equilibrium amount. We've got A reacting to give B plus C, all in a one-to-one -one ratio. And initial mole of A, 0.4, none of the others. You're told that 80% of A reacts. And you've been asked to work out the equilibrium moles of A, B, and C. And uh, then would you need the volume to work out Kc in this case? Okay, thanks for watching and bye for now.